While national gas price averages have slowly begun to drop following a record-breaking national average of $4.33 per gallon, on March 11th, several states and the federal government have pending legislation aimed at easing the burden of fuel costs for Americans who are still recovering from a two-year pandemic amidst record inflation and skyrocketing fuel prices. While gas prices dropped dramatically at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in April of 2020, they rose back to pre-pandemic levels by the fall of that year. Experts point to increased demand for fuel as COVID restrictions ease, as well as the highest inflation rates in four decades for the initial rise in costs. The OPEC, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, responded to the uncertainty of the pandemic and the initial drop in demand by instituting the largest and longest voluntary production adjustments in the oil market's history. As pandemic restrictions eased, OPEC refused to adjust their plan for a gradual increase in oil output, despite calls from large consumers such as the United States and India as oil prices surged by 50% in 2021. In March of this year, the Russian invasion of Ukraine caused the price of crude oil to rise 30% in just seven days. Russia was the world's third largest producer of petroleum products in 2020, after the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, and accounts for about one-tenth of the global oil supply. On March 8th, President Biden signed an executive order to ban United States' purchase of Russian oil. Russian oil accounts for only about 3% of United States oil imports, according to the most recent data from last year, as opposed to countries such as Germany and the Netherlands, who rely on Russia for more than 30% of their supply. ABC reports that European officials are seeking ways to reduce their dependence, but it will take time. Britain's business secretary said that his country will use the rest of the year to phase out its imports of oil and petroleum products to give the market business, and supply chains more than enough time to replace Russian imports, which account for 8% of UK demand. The situation has potential to become much more dire if Russia cuts off supplies in retaliation against the oil bans. Russia's Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak threatened in a statement earlier this month that this may be a possibility. In such a case, oil prices, which are hovering around $100 per barrel, could potentially spike to up to $300 per barrel. In such a case, the United States pump prices could increase by another $2, given that the price of crude oil accounts for more than 50% of the retail price of regular gasoline in the United States. In early March, the International Energy Agency announced a coordinated release of crude oil from 31 member countries' strategic reserves, which includes the United States, Canada, South Korea, Mexico, and Germany, to counter the soaring crude prices. Additionally, United States fuel production is still roughly 1,000 barrels off of its pre-pandemic peak in 2019. The United States Energy Information Administration has projected that crude oil will rise in the next few months. That barring extreme changes in the economy, gas may cost the average U.S. household over $2,000 more this year than last year. Legislators on the state and national level have proposed many ways of addressing these sky rocketing costs. Many states have pending legislation aimed at tackling high gas prices, although many won't take effect until later this year. California has the highest cost per gallon at $5.85 as of March 21st. However, the state's proposed $400 fuel stimulus payment and a potential gas tax holiday are still pending. The $400 fuel stimulus has been proposed in the California state legislature, but is subject to negotiations and a potential future vote. And any benefit that takes place within the May revision of the budget, such as a gas tax holiday, would not go through until the May revision of the budget. On the federal level, there are two proposals currently making their way through legislation a federal gas tax holiday, and an excise tax on large oil producers. Additionally, the federal government has the ability to utilize strategic petroleum reserve releases. In February, United States Senators Kelly and Hassan introduced the Gas Prices Relief Act, the 
The legislation has gained popularity as gas prices continue to rise. The proposed legislation calls for the federal government to suspend its 18.4% gas tax through the end of the year. Critics of the act say that there is no guarantee that the tax savings would lower prices at the pump and also voices concerns that it would take much-needed funds away from highway and bridge maintenance trust, resulting in poorly maintained infrastructure. House of Representatives Bill 7061 was introduced on March 11th by United States Senator Whitehouse and would amend a 1986 IRS code in order to impose a windfall profits excise tax on crude oil and to rebate the tax collected back to individual taxpayers. The bill, also known as the Big Oil Windfall Profits Tax, would apply to large oil suppliers only. Roughly 70% of domestic producers would be exempt. The bill would yield payouts to a similar population as that of the COVID relief stimulus payments. Rebates would vary according to the cost per barrel and yield roughly $240 per year to single filers, making $75,000 or less, phasing out at single filer income levels of $150,000 and above. For joint filers, the yearly rebate would be roughly $360 a year with similar income requirements.